mud district, utility district in our area was Windmill Farms. And Windmill Farms has a potential to have 14,000 homes. And they won't have a council member to represent them or a mayor or anyone. And that's a, that's a problem. Because those citizens deserve you know, some type of interaction with the local government. And they're just signing quasi, you know, interlocal. And, and it's difficult because I have people come to me all the time that live in women farms and say, hey, can you do this? Can we do that? You know, what can we do? Well, we're still trying to provide those amenities within our community to all these subdivisions that are outside of our city limits. But what happens is that we, we don't get city tax. Now, let me be clear, everybody pays taxes. I'm not saying you don't pay tax, but you pay a utility district tax. And instead of paying a city tax, where we can take that money and use it for police and fire and maintenance, help with amenities throughout our community, we don't get that tax. So it, it creates an undue burden within the city itself too. Now I'm not saying you're, you're gonna all go out there and say, oh, that you're burdened on the city. No, it's not, you're not a burden in that respect. It's a burden that we all feel as a community, okay? So I wanna make that clear. If there was a way for us to change that, I absolutely would. And that's why I'm not for freshwater districts or mud districts continuing to expand and get bigger and bigger and bigger and, you know, not help with the amenities that we need within our community because they all come to us, we want, we want a convention center, or we want this, we want that, you know, we want bigger parks. And we all do want that. And we all have an area with a population that's similar to other areas that have these amenities but yet we don't have the financial resource within the city itself to do that. So there's challenges. Well, we can turn that into opportunities if we, if we all collectively work together because like, I, I mean, there's no reason we can't collectively have a, a, a and I'll get in trouble here, but have a park tax, you know, a county, park tax so that it includes everybody. We don't single out just Forney or Terrell or anybody. We would collectively have that tax that would be split up by the county in, the, in their population area.